In this video, I'm going to talk about the Gauss-Seidel method to solve a system of linear equations. Um, so let's suppose that we have our matrix A. Um, we always start with a matrix A. I always call the matrix A. I don't know why. I like to be consistent um, from time to time. So negative 4, negative 1, 0, 1. 0, negative 2, 1, 0, um, the 0, 1, 3, 1, um, 0, 0, 1, negative 2. Okay, so this is going to be our matrix A. Um, and then we have x, which is our vector. Um, our vector is x. Um, y, Z, W, because we're working uh, with a 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, by 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 uh, matrix. And therefore, we are in the 4 dimensional space. So this is all equal to C, um, 1, 0, 1, 2. So this is our uh, linear system of equation. Um, written in other terms is basically this um, negative 4 uh, x minus y um, plus w equal 1 negative 2 y plus z equal 0 um, y plus 3 z plus w equal 1 and z minus 2w equal 2. All right, so um, this is basically our system of equation. So um, first things first, uh, in order to start with the iterations uh, and approximations, um, I, gotta, I basically got to um, get um, the x, y, z, and w for each equation. Um, so basically going to do it here um basically going to have to get um everything you know uh the x y and uh z and w so negative 4x um equal 1 plus y minus w uh negative 2y is equal to negative z 3z equal 1 minus y minus w and negative 2w is equal to 2 minus z. Okay, almost there. Um, negative x is equal to 1 over 4 uh, plus 1 over 4y minus 1 over 4w. Uh, uh, negative y is equal to negative 1 over 2z. Um, z is equal to 1 over 3 minus 1 over 3y minus 1 over 3w and negative w is equal to 2 over 2 which is 1 over 1 which is 1 um, minus 1 over 2z and therefore there we go uh, therefore, we have um, x equal to 1 over 4, negative 1 over 4, minus 1 over 4y, minus 1 over 4w, y uh, is equal to 1 over 2z, uh, z is equal to 1 over 3, minus 1 over 3y, minus 1 over 3w, uh, and w is equal to negative 1 plus 1 over 2z. Okay, so I basically uh, got um, the x, the y, the z, and the w from each equation uh, in function of the other variables, of course. Uh, otherwise, I would be solving it <laughs> the old-fashioned way, but it would be, you know, uh, troublesome for, um, so for doing this uh, in a 4 by 4 um, so, uh, once I've done this, uh, I can start with the iterations. So, let's start. So, let's start with 
the iterations. Okay, let's start with the iterations. Um, iteration one, step one. Okay, some people consider iteration one, two, three, four, and so on, um, the, the other iteration. Um, me, myself, I consider the iteration a full iteration, so it's made by um, a few steps. And once each and every variable has, uh, has gone through an iteration, uh, all the steps are completed, then um, uh, I say that it's the second iteration and so on. Um, so this can slightly differ uh, the terminology between you know university to university and state to state, uh, but this is the way I do it and I consider it. Um, so, all right, um, I'm basically gonna have a table here. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, those are the iterations, and those are our values. Okay, so um, basically our values. Um, well, generally, if you are, um, they're they're giving it, they're gonna give them to you. Um, so if you are utterly solving it for, I don't know, a textbook or um, stuff like that, uh, they're going to say, uh, start with the values of uh, this, this, and this. In this case, um, he was actually saying to start, I forgot to mention it, but when I did, this is actually, I didn't invent it. Um, I didn't did, I didn't even do it by, you know, uh, chance. I covered it from the... Um, I come with the, um, the metrics from the book because uh, it was an exercise that was assigned to us. Um, so basically, um, in this case, um, we were told to start uh, start with the initial values of um, 0 0.17, negative 0.25, um, 0.25 and negative 0.20 okay so they generally uh, give them to us um, if they don't uh, you can start with um, whatever basically whatever you want uh, I suggest you start with uh, 1 or with 0 because it's actually easier to do it to compute it um, probably I'm gonna make a video in which I'm gonna start with 0 of stuff like that uh, I'm not sure, probably I will, uh, just to show you that it's the same. Um, but sometimes they're giving them to you. Okay, so they basically gave us uh, those initial values. So our initial values are going to be x equal 0 0.17, y equal to negative uh, 0 0.25, uh, z equal to 0 0.25 and w equal to negative 0 0.20 so uh, what I do what I generally do is to um, you know do like this like a little line um, below the values uh, this is to say that we are in step one of the very first iteration so step one we basically have all the values uh, in which we're gonna we're gonna deal with. Um, so um, step by step, I'm gonna be removing the line from x, y, z, and last uh, lastly uh, w. Uh, therefore, after that, we're gonna go to iteration two. Um, so this is a good way to remember where you are. Uh, okay. So what we're basically gonna do now is to take the uh, x which is this one, this equation, okay, that we basically found uh, before. And we're going to substitute in this equation the values that have been given to us uh, as a start, okay? So I'm basically going to take this equation, I'm going to substitute the values here. So the equation uh, is going to become x equal, so this one, okay, 
x equal negative 1 um, over 4, negative 1 over 4 times uh, negative 0 dot 25, um, negative 1 over 4 times o, negative, excuse me, negative 0 dot 20. Okay. Um, we're going to have to approximate here, um, of course, it's going to become O.25 uh, minus O.25 times negative O.25 uh, minus O.25 times negative O.20. Okay. Um, and then this is going to become um, negative O.25 plus O.06 plus O.05. And this is negative O.14. Okay, so um, now we can proceed and go to um, the iteration one step two, uh, which is going to be the same but for y. And we're going to use the newly found um, value of x, and we're going to put it here. I'm going to use eventually in y uh, if it's dependent um, in the equation uh, by x. Uh, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so on. So um, let's just do this. Um, okay. Um, so I'm going to do the second. So uh, this is iteration one, step two. Okay. As I said, somebody uh, calls this iteration two already. But um, I used to call it uh, iteration one, step one, two, and three, and so on, uh, until I get all the values with the new uh, value and then go on and on and on. Okay, um, so let's write our table again. Those are iterations, values, and right now we're going to have uh, x equal negative o. Point fourteen, okay. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna um, um, write a line uh, over here uh, uh, under x because you know we have already found the first um, iteration for x. So um, the other one are gonna stay the same. So y is gonna stay as uh, o point twenty five. Z is gonna stay as o point twenty five and w is going to stay as negative 0.20. Um, I'm going to write a little line, um, you know, under them, because we haven't found uh, the first iteration for y, z, and w. So y is going to be uh, this equation here. So 1 a half of x. So it's going to become um, 1 over 2 times x, so 0.25. In other words, x is 0.5 times 0.25, and y is 0.12. Okay, so we basically found a uh, new y, and we're going to go on. Um, so iteration one step three so let's write our table once again um, iterations values and again, um, x is going to be equal to negative 0.14, y is going to be equal to the newly found value, so 0.12, um, z instead is going to be the same, so it's going to stay the same, uh, 0.25, and w is going to stay the same, negative 0.20. And of course, I'm going to put a line, a uh, blue line under z and w okay so z is basically uh, this equation here okay so with the new um, value of y and the well old um, value of uh, w 
Okay, so z is basically going to become 1 over 3 uh, minus 1 over 3 times o dot 12 minus 1 third times negative o dot 20. Okay, so z is o dot 33. Well, I suppose it should be one o dot three 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 and so on, but uh, I'm gonna approximate. I know, I know. For the mathematicians um, among you, they're basically gonna <laughs> gonna be like no and so on. But I know I don't like to do this uh, either. But you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, o dot thirty three, um, as we said times so that 12 uh, minus so that 33 uh, times negative o that 20 as we said yeah I know it's sad the approximate okay uh, so z equal to o that 33 minus uh, o that o3 plus o that o6 um, and therefore z is gonna be o oh, dot 36 okay so we're gonna go on and on and on um, okay on with the new with the new stuff I'm gonna just put it here um, and get a new a new piece of paper is uh, by the way uh, those papers here are recycled so um, for if you were wondering, no, I'm not, you know, technically I'm not wasting them. Uh, they're recycled. I always buy recycled, but they are cheaper. Um, but I also care about the environment in my opinion. Okay, so iteration four. Um, I'm sorry, iteration one, uh, step four. Yeah. Um, okay, iteration one, step four. Uh, let's write our table uh, once again. So iterations and values. So x uh, is equal to o dot fourteen. Uh, y is equal to o dot twelve. Um, z is equal to o dot 36 uh, and w is equal to negative o dot 20 so the only one with left is w and w is actually um, this one from here so w is negative 1 plus uh, 1 half of c um, so uh, we have just found z so Happy, happy. No, I'm scared, sorry. Uh, okay, so negative 1 plus 1 over 2 times um, O dot 36. So Y is equal to negative 1 plus O dot 5 times O dot 36. Therefore, y, uh, W is equal to negative 1 plus O dot 18. Um, and W is equal to negative O dot 82. So the first iteration is complete. I'm going to do another one. So the second iteration then I'm going to stop because uh, one is uh, tedious to do this. And second, um, i got to approximate and I don't like it. And I don't actually like this method very much. But, um, you know, I've been forced to do it um, from time to time. So, and of course, it's my exam. Um, so, okay, iteration two. And by the way, there is nothing funny in doing this. I mean, uh, you know, when you're working with matrices and so on, generally, it's fine. I mean, it's it's it generally fun. Or if you're, you know, in your calcul, not only in your linear algebra class, but in your calculus class, and you're trying to find, I don't know, uh, the divergence and curl or in your multivariable calculus, like in your calculus two class, um, you're trying to find, I don't know, uh, vector fields of any kind, or 
uh, tripoly integrals in R3. That's fun. That's funny. There is nothing funny here. Uh, there's nothing funny in doing the same process, the same mechanic process all over again. This, this is something. This is an algorithm that is supposed to be run by computers, not by human beings. So, um, although it's good that they're teaching you how to, you know, uh, do this and eventually code this in MATLAB or Python or whatever you are using. Um, it's not actually really interesting to to do it, um, you know, manually yourself uh, this way. But you know, um, it's university; you gotta do what they ask you to. Um, so, okay, let's start with our second iteration. Let's read quick. So, iterations and values. So we're going to use the values that we just found again. You are already using them, but now we can use also uh, W. So, and we're going to load them all. We're going to reload them all. Okay, with line. Okay, iteration two, step one. And we're gonna do the same thing uh, again. So I'm basically gonna get the um, you know the the the, the equation, uh, but this time instead of uh, substituting the old values for y, I'm gonna substitute the new values so for y and uh, w and so on, and the, the w uh, value I've just found and so on. Um, so you know gonna do the same thing all over again, but we we're gonna get a better precision because this this time I'm gonna have already done uh, all the values have already done one iter iteration so i'm gonna get um better precision so i'm gonna get um negative one uh, over four minus one over four times uh 0 0.12 minus one over four times negative 0 0.82 i'm gonna have um, x is gonna be equal to over 25 minus o dot 25 times o dot 12 uh, minus o dot 25 times negative o dot 82 and this is gonna get i'm um, just gonna be um, negative o dot 25 minus o dot o3 plus o dot 20 and x is going to be negative 0.08. Um, and this is our new value for x, which we're going to use um, right now. So iteration 2, step 2. So let's write our table once again. There we go. Uh, iterations. And values. Okay, so um, our x now is negative o dot o eight, and the other value is going to be the same. So o dot twelve, uh, z is equal to o dot thirty six, and w is negative o dot eighty two. Um, I'm going to load. Only those three because we already found the new x. So um, y is basically once again the same equation. So one half one over two times o the thirty six, which is our new values for z. Um, this is gonna be o the five times o the thirty six. And y is going to be o dot 18. And uh, we're going to continue in another page. So what, what was that? Um, iteration 2, step 3. So iteration 2, step 3 gonna write down our table 
once again. So those are our iterations and those are our values. So um, our values are now, I'm gonna have to, to look for them because I already forgot them. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, so where does one here? Uh, okay. The, our, come on. Okay. Our values are uh, x is equal to negative 0 0.08. Um, y, we have just found y, which is 0.18. Um, z is 0.36. And w is negative 0.82. And I'm just going to load z and w. Because we just found, we, we found z and we just found y again. Okay, so z is going to be um uh, once again these equation uh, that we just found uh before well um so one over three one third minus one third times o dot eighteen um minus one over three times negative o dot uh point eighty two these are new values so uh, w. Okay, um, so x uh, is 0.33. I know, I know, I'm approximating. Uh, minus 0.33 times 0.18. Uh, minus 0.33 times negative 0.82. Um, and z therefore is 0.33 minus 0.06 plus o dot 27 and this is going to give us c equal o dot 54 so last but not least iteration two step four so we're gonna we reached the end of our journey <laughs> right Passengers are asked to leave. No, uh, <laughs> actually, no. <laughs> okay, iteration and values. I shouldn't be joking while I'm doing this because, um, you know, I might I might do something terribly wrong <laughs> if I joke too much. But no, actually, no. This is just you know long and tedious and repetitive, and you're gonna do the very same thing all over again. So, as I said, I'm going to load the only the W because it's the only one uh, which is left. Uh, we have found all the um, values uh, for uh, X, Y, and Z uh, for the second iteration. We are step four. So, once again, W is going to be equal to the equation that we, had, uh, we have found at the very beginning. So, here. So, once again, uh, negative one plus one half times um, the equation is z so one one half z so times z uh, we just owe that 36 so owe that 36 and w is gonna be negative one plus o that five uh, times so point 36 and w is equal to negative 1 plus so point 18 and w is gonna be equal to negative 0 0.82 so after uh, those iterations iterations um, we have got x equal to negative um, 0 0.08 y equal to 0 0.18 and z equal um, 0 0.36 and w equal to negative 0 0.82 um, now to be fair uh, i wasn't actually happy with this result um, and i did it 
uh, like um, for real and uh, I wanted to know whether uh, those values were you know uh, how, how precise they were and so I basically did um, this problem in the old-fashioned way uh, so with um, you know substitution you know this 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 and so on um, and um, over 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 and I basically found uh, this X um, so X so the real values not the the ones that I found with uh, with the method uh, with the iterations so the real values are actually uh, negative 0.12 uh, 0 0.25 0 0.5 and negative 0.75 and if we compare them uh, to uh, the, the, the values that we have just found using the iteration um, well they are kind of close I mean they're still not perfect uh, they're approximated and um, you know they they differ from the official real value but um, they're they're not so decent I mean they're they're converging they're getting closer um, so uh, it may be silly because you know this was a relatively simple um, system of equation um, after all we were just in uh, in R4, so the fourth uh, dimension, but if we go on and on and on with the uh, with the dimension, then you during the the old-fashioned way, the substitution way, for instance, wouldn't be possible. And um, you know, using the those iterations uh, would be better, especially especially you know for a machine, not for a human being, but for a machine which you can basically. Well, the modern CPU, like, I don't know, the, the Intel Xeon um, that I personally use um, are actually able to do, you know, a lot of tasks. Um, so if you just run it on your computer and you go through, I don't know, one, two, three, four, one thousand iterations, uh, then you're going to be really sure that it's going to converge and it's going to converge um in a in a pretty precise way to uh the values that we to, to, to the real uh precise values um that we basically got uh, from the, the 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 normal method and not the um the method i just uh show you so again uh, this is basically how this method works um, and I hope uh, it helps you and um, I try to explain it as simple as possible so again um, there is nothing you know interesting in this method uh, in by doing it yourself you know on on a piece of paper uh, but those methods really get interesting when uh, you're coding um, so for instance in MATLAB uh, for very very high dimension um, system of equations so matrices okay um, um, I think I'm done here bye